that's a typical day for Pueblo. It is nice out. Let's go on in. There is a plunger to retain. I think it's all dry rotted. For right now, I'm just using a bungee. And she's got the original tags and everything. Okay, here we go. Got this little level back here. So there is a table that goes here that comes down. So this makes a bed. And I need to get a table for there. It came with a really nice piece of wood. Uh, they upgraded this t with a really nice piece of wood. But um, I want to put the folding table back so more people can sleep in this. So here's the fridge. Pull the pin so it doesn't open. And it's, it's clean. I've got this thing all cleaned up. This is an ammonia powered fridge in the top area will make ice. I, I had ice blocks up here and I put a bunch of Mexican Cokes down here and check this out. Like you could have like a nice tall. So I had my half liter bottles up in there. It's uh, yeah, they don't make anything like this anymore. And the weather stripping is all still soft. Everything's good. I, I cleaned everything. It looks a little rough, but I may just go over that with some steel wool, but it's, it's clean. You know, it's, it's clean. Not bad. It's ready for food. Here's the stove. I do have the third burner. And I also do have all the other drawers and a table for here. This is just all pulled out so I can get it clean, do whatever last bit. I pulled, pulled this roof panel down so I could see what I was up against. And just the insulation's dry. Look at the wood. That is just awesome. So this panel actually comes down. So there's the old 12 volt wire and I'm just going to follow the runs. I'm going to tie a new wire on the end, pull it all the way through the camper. I've got a spool of wire ready to go, 14 gauge. And I got, let's see all these cabinets, everything's cleaned out. I mean, this thing, oh, it's amazing. It's like new. I mean, all the windows operate as they should. I think one of them, I think this is plexiglass, this one up top, but the screens are all intact. These uh, poster boards are just here uh, as a rock guard as I was towing it around uh, for the, um, I had to go get the appraisal. Yeah, look at these little jealousy windows. Oh, that's nice, that lets the breeze in. Also, this vent here opens and does not leak. So when the bear tore open the side, okay, that would happen right about here. He actually came in through this whole cupboard and all that. So this was all busted open. And then that's actually the bear. There's his claw marks. And he punctured right through that and tore this all open. Okay, I've, I've repaired this with staples. I'm going to, you know, cover it, make it pretty simple. I'm trying to keep things as lightweight as possible. Um, but there was one pack of ramen. So this camper was torn open. The bear came in down there, came up, ate that, and just forced his way out. So fortunately, uh, there was no real damage. Um, the floor has already been replaced. It is very solid. There's, it's, there's no soft spots. And they put this self-stick tile, and it's coming up in a few spots. But you know what? For the first couple seasons and trips, it's going to be fine. In fact, you can see down here, it's the old original 1967, so that's what we were up against. All right, so here's the front. All right, so you got wraparound windows, double story all the way up top. You got these cabinets that open for storage, but you see it's got these clips and the whole thing folds down and my understanding is, is that that can be another bunk. So I'm probably going to get uh, the boards necessary because it's got a uh, stainless steel track to hold that. And then all I got to do is have, so I'll have a, a bunk down there, a bunk up there, and then the, the dinette cuts into a bunk. 
So that's uh, if everybody's really friendly, that's 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 six people. So let's see. This is what they call the gaucho bed, which slides out. It's all it's, it's amazing. It's really lightweight ply, but just the structural way they did this stuff is strong. I gotta get a little sheet to go right there. I've got a brand new mattress for here. And just tuck this all up. It's also got this uh, this folding table that comes up. So then, looking back in this direction, the sink. I'm gonna get to run the water straight out the side and collect in a bucket. And that way there's just no plumbing. There's nothing to worry about. And then I'm just gonna put water up top and plumb it in to the sink and let gravity do the work. I got the rest of the drawers to go down here. I pulled them out just to clean them. Cutting board. I like the, the backsplash will keep the bed clean. It's got this little tucked in area here. Again, all the screens are intact. Now this is nice. So old school propane gas lantern. So if I can find the old glass lens for this, or I may just have a glass blower blow me something funky for right there. Uh, this has got the old controls. The gas, the gas is all down here. Let's see. Oh yeah. So that's all serious stuff. And I've already uh, removed the one that went to, um, there was a water heater or something. So I just cut the whole line out, put a plug on it, piece of cake. Um, this actually has a light and a fan. All this works. I just have it all cleaned out so I can get it all clean. Then I put it all back together. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I may just put, you know, car stereo and all the electronics, CB and all that stuff in here and just kind of keep it all closed. All right. Let's see. Also, the bench is full of storage area. This one is a full cabinet and then this one has a wheel well so you get half a cabinet but still it's amazing and we got a very thin light ply so I, I may just run some insulation over that I don't know if it's going to be needed though because there's not much air that comes through there especially once you make that up as a bed big windows there's so much light that comes in here just all the little nooks and crannies that are built in there is a closet check this out you got the uh the old all the old goodies it's amazing so i tore all that out to clean all that up i'm going to redo that because it's just masonite and replace that with a better board this is what was the bathroom so there's enough room to come in here and do your thing so there used to be a shower and then I think the toilet was over here but they replaced the whole floor and put carpet in here and then the way I got the the, the uh, closet torn out I might even be able to put another sleeping bag somebody could even sleep back here but I have a feeling it's just gonna be used for storage changing I could put a portable toilet back in here I'm never gonna put a shower back inside this thing I don't think that's necessary but it does have vents and they are capped uh, the closet also has a vent so I can get some airflow going through there this thing really is man so now all I gotta do is just kind of put it back together with some new wires and go use it by then the title should come in the mail I got curtains I got everything for it just needs to be just needs a little love and put back together especially that spot where the bear came in that's uh i think i'm going to paint a bear on the side over there where it came in and uh <laughs> leave it at that there it is this is a 1967 kit companion again here's original switches and wiring and i can just trace these out and follow them through and just just replace all the wiring and I don't even have to pull it out I can just run new wiring next to it and just leave it alone but at least I know all the wires are are good and I'm talking about all the AC and DC 
you know, this thing's wired in. It's also got a... It's got a fuse panel. There's a whole wiring diagram. And it's all there. I got everything I need to figure out what goes where. That's a gem right there to even have that piece of paper. In fact, I should probably just pull that off and scan that in the computer and I don't need to be driving even around with that. That's a uh, that's original. Well, spend all day in here looking at this stuff. There's so much to to see. Big dinette, big windows. What's not to love? This thing's awesome. All right.